from Cielo Blue and Fusion Grill in Olympia, the state capital of Washington. We have Chef Leela M. Cross, and, and Jeanette Lytle has come in with a, with a recommendation from this restaurant. What is it? Well, it is one of my favorites, and it is Asian ribs. Um, and it's on cornbread with some greens and this lovely ginger dressing, and it's fantastic. Good enough, I love good it. enough so that you order it again. Right, and good enough to eat. <laughs> you bet. Uh -huh. Well, I'll tell you, we're going to ask you to step out, and then we'll okay. call you back in and, and right. check the uh, okay. check. Uh, Leela out and see if she did the right thing. Will do. Okay. Nice. <laughs> Being tested here. Where, where did this come from, Lena? Where did the uh, Um, come It from? came actually from uh, a customer who couldn't eat a lot of oil. So we created it without the oil at first, and then it sort of evolved and through the years. Wow. Is it's a, a marinade you're talking about? Yes, it is. Uh -huh. And you can marinate uh, any type of poultry, uh, pork, or So it would be good steak. for any, not just short ribs. Absolutely. Good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, that's, are we, are we going to make that first? We are. We're going to start okay. with the marinade. And uh, we start with the sesame seeds. And we like to use uh, both colors, the toast, oh, the, look at that. the black, black and white. Uh -huh, for the, yep. for the uh, just for the color of it. And then um, however sweet you want it, you can add as much brown sugar that you want. And so we add brown sugar to it. Sometimes uh, you can use honey or molasses, depending on what you like. You put that in there. And then we chop the garlic, super fine. Add it to the mixture. Oh, this is great. I like this. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have uh, soy sauce. And oh, we use, I love soy sauce. Yeah, so we use a double soy sauce. It's not as salty. Double soy sauce? Mm -hmm. And then, I've never uh, heard of that. Is, is, a, you, is that in the store? Can you just, yes. Mm -hmm. Just kind of concentrate look for things yes. like that. I, I, I never, you know, you look for something and you go and get what you're looking for. You never look at anything else. <laughs> That's too bad. Then we add a, a rice wine vinegar, half a cup, and it's all equal parts, which makes it really super easy. Oh, yeah. Um, I love recipes like that. And then the water that goes to it, um, you can add it for strength, is how strong you want the marinade or how least amount. And that's a cup. Okay. I didn't know if you had a faucet, so I brought my own <laughs> So this is going to be really flavorful and good. Uh -huh. And it's oh. so simple. You can make it at home. You can use it for barbecues. We serve a lot of them at weddings. Now, after you make this marinade, could you put it in the refrigerator and yes. keep it for a couple mm -hmm. of days? I mean, oh, if you had any, say, a picnic or an event coming mm -hmm. up and you didn't want to have mm -hmm. to do it that day, we that also, would be great to have done. Oh, absolutely. We also reduce it, and then we use it as a glaze or a sauce afterwards. So okay. you could probably... Um, just not add as much water if you wanted to reduce it so exactly. you wouldn't have the, the weight for it to get concentrated. Absolutely, or you can uh, substitute wine or uh, sparkling cider. All right. mm -hmm. In place of the uh, other rice wine vinegar. Mm -hmm. Oh, in place of the water. Yeah. yeah. Sparkling vinegar. That so what, you, what you're going to do with this today is use it as a marinade yes. for ribs. Uh -huh. And I think um, it's kind of interesting because when I read your recipe, I didn't really understand that you meant like Korean cut Kalbi ribs, right. or, and so this is a short rib. It's different from the baby back ribs mm -hmm. yes. or the spare mm -hmm. ribs mm -hmm. that we think mm -hmm. of and first. The uh, the market or your local butcher would cut them in to any length that you wanted to. We yeah, use, we use a shorter one. Asian grocery stores like Wajimaya mm -hmm. will have this already in a pack, cut like that. Yeah. Okay, yeah. it's a great dish, yeah. and it, it takes no time to cook. So, okay. We'll continue so. here. Um, so, um, as far as your spice or the level of what, what type of spice you like, you can. Uh, we use red pepper flake. Okay. Um, a lot of people use cayenne. Okay. So it depends on what you would like. We do a crushed ginger here. Red pepper a little less than cayenne. And it is not quite as hot. Okay. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, absolutely. Then we use a, so a hoisin here. Hoisin sauce. Yes. Yeah. You can find that at the grocery store. Kind of like a Chinese ketchup. Yes. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. Gotta try it. Yeah. And then we use uh, parsley. Oh, that's good. Mm. Chopped parsley. And then we use a cilantro. You could just sell this stuff in bottles at the restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. It's like, I just uh, want to have this as well, a I'm condiment. Gonna to, I'm gonna have to call you. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Since you develop them. Yeah. Okay. So and then what we do is we just mix it. And then we marinate our uh, ribs. We should start cooking our ribs. And how long do you marinate the ribs? Um, usually four hours, but you can do it up to eight hours. Mm -hmm. So, okay, we're going to cook these, but um, obviously we're doing it in a frying pan here. Mm -hmm. At the restaurant, would you saute them or cook them on a grill? We use, or? We use a grill. A grill, okay. Uh, and sometimes we pop them in our pizza oven. Oh, mm -hmm. wow, in the pizza yes. oven. Mm -hmm. Love it. So we're going to cook these, are we? Yes, we are. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. So how can I help you? Well, we're just going to pop them in the pan here. 
And no oil, just the uh, it has no oil the fat it. in the rib itself will uh -huh. be enough. Oh, that smell. <laughs> I'm, I'm basking you're, in you're the, the, right uh, spot. <laughs> the Asian ribness. Uh. How well. is it over there? Mm, mm -hmm. How long are, are we just waiting for color or uh, yeah, is there some indicator of done this? brown on that side, so about 10 to 20 seconds on each side. And you know, I use this same cut in some western style recipes where it's cut in the opposite direction where you have a long piece of rib and a big piece of meat on top and I have to braise it for hours, oh, literally like three and a half hours. But um, with this particular oh, look cut, at that. And this, this really does remind me of the Korean kind of barbecue thing. And that smell. George, are you getting that over here? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow. They're great. So tell me a little bit about the restaurant. You're in Olympia. We're in downtown Olympia. We're kind of in the heart of Olympia. Uh, we consider ourselves the neighborhood restaurant. Uh, we're going on our third year. Uh, and uh, it's amazing. I'll bet. Yes. Mm -hmm. when, you, when you do food like that, if it gets mm -hmm. smells like that, you're right. going to walk through the door. Mm -hmm. I guess that's a fun stage in the life of a restaurant, too. At three years, you're kind of in your stride. Yes. You know what you're doing. <laughs> and we finally figured it out. So. You yeah. got oil following. Yeah. And that's a, we that's do. Yeah. Really yeah. Well. You're still being uh -huh. discovered, so you get a lot of Absolutely. people coming in who've never been there before. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, like a, bunch, yeah, <laughs> a bunch of people I'll coming out soon. from the uh, Puget Sound area to go down to the lower Puget Sound I think Sound we're ready. Area. Great. Okay. Uh, okay. So, uh, ready for, for yeah. cornbread? We are. We're gonna pan, put the cornbread on a plate. I'll grab it out of the oven here for okay. you. Okay. Yeah. Well, let me and this is no ordinary cornbread. Uh, I can tell just by looking at it. <laughs> this this that cornbread. This is better than my cornbread. Oh, look at that! <laughs> wow. That's beautiful. I'll just rest it here. Mm -hmm. You know, I'll bet one out of every three or maybe even one out of every two viewers today, their mom or grandma or made great cornbread. This is great cornbread, folks. Look at that. What we do is we take... Um, and the recipe's in the book, right? Right. We, <laughs> okay, we do, yeah, yeah. good. Because I, I need to make this one. I'm going to just scoop it out of the middle because I know it's soft. Oh. There you go. Put this in the middle of the plate. We take our ribs. And this is such, I mean, I can see what you call your restaurant infusion something because this is classic fusion cooking. You have something very Western, cornbread, and then uh, the very Eastern, like the Calbee rib with okay, the Asian marinade. We're going to uh, garnish just a little we bit, are. Okay. Yeah. I'm inhaling the uh, <laughs> and Jeanette, why don't you step back in here now? Place. Things are getting <laughs> <laughs> She's ready. <laughs> Let me tell you. <laughs> yeah. A little, little bit of salad. Step in. Okay. We have a little yeah. bit of everything. We do. We do. Let me move this big knife. We're going to need a couple of forks over there. here and, and a little help maybe with a knife. I've got the forks. And we'll, uh, we'll we might need more than a couple. Oh, indeed. I know you have forks okay. there. And oh. knives, too. We've got Ooh. knives. Thank you. Ooh. Thank you. That's wonderful. we got everything you yeah. need. Okay, and you, you want to do the... Uh, okay. Oh, here. Well, we better let our... Uh, oh, no, it's okay. No, I'm, no, I'm just going to cut it for her. <laughs> What a man. No, mm -hmm. Oh, go ahead, George. It's all right. Go ahead and take that bite you want. Okay, there you go. <laughs> the next one is mine. You did. Oh, Oh, I forgot. Ah, I forgot the one. Mm, this looks mm. so good. Oh, that's because Very it is good. so good. Mm. Okay, but just a minute now. i got to get some cornbread. Here's my taste. First things first, kid. Mmm. Lila, um, thank mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. Very, very much.